Hi, this is Tyler Can, curator of contemporary art, continuing our uh, tour of the exhibition Art After Stonewall, 1969 to 1989, here at the Columbus Museum of Art. Um, while we're close to the public, we're trying to bring some works to you. Um, there is a whole section of this show called AIDS and Activism. Um, I'm standing in front of this poster, Silence Equals Death, which is really one of the most iconic images um, of AIDS activism in this period. It dates from 1987. Uh, we're thinking a lot about uh, government response um, or kind of global mobilization in the face of a pandemic at the moment. And without um, drawing a parallel, there's certainly some resonance of these works to the, the present moment. We only wish that the AIDS crisis had um, received the same kind of resources and attention as the current pandemic. But um, it was really necessary um, because uh, Ronald Reagan and uh, Mayor Ed Koch and uh, many other government leaders uh, were not actually talking about AIDS um, at all for quite a long time. Um, so this uh, image, Silent Seekers Death, as I mentioned, is, um, is really a, an iconic image of, of uh, AIDS activism. The pink triangle, you may or may not know, uh, was used to uh, brand homosexuals by the Nazi regime in the 1930s and throughout the Holocaust period, uh, but in the 1970s is when it was turned upside down and into a symbol of, uh, of pride. Um, this is a photograph by Anne Patricia Meredith uh, of the AIDS Foundation Women's Support Group in San Francisco from uh, June 1987. Uh, Anne Meredith is uh, one of the first to document um, how the, uh, women, um, the lives of women with HIV and, and AIDS. And this image provides, for me anyway, a, uh, an image of kind of solidarity and a kind of mutual care that I think really resonates. Uh, this poster is by Grand Fury, another um, um, sort of offshoot or related group to, um, to ACT UP. Um, and, yeah. and as I said, a lot of government leaders were, were not uh, paying attention to the AIDS crisis as it was unfolding in the, the late 1980s. Um, but these posters like these were pasted um, all over New York City and, and were instrumental in, in, in increasing sort of awareness and, uh, and attention. With 42,000 dead, this poster says, art is not enough, take collective direct action to end the AIDS crisis. Uh, painting by Luis Cruz Asaceta, a uh, Cuban-American uh, painter whose work it often centers on mortality, um, fear, and, um, and sort of human suffering. Uh, in this case, uh, the work is called AIDS Patient, um, and as you see someone alone uh, on a ventilator uh, with a single uh, light above. It's a really powerful um, juxtaposed against this background of numbers um, counting up or counting down and whether those numbers signify sort of the, the limited days or the increasing numbers of those afflicted with HIV AIDS is sort of open to interpretation. Um, but, uh, you know, it, I think uh, this section as a whole um, highlights the importance of art and culture in an unfolding public health crisis, um, both to kind of stimulate awareness and increase the sense of urgency, um, but also to reflect on, um, on the human kind of cost and toll um, that uh, something like this uh, really unleashes. So, thank you.